Hey guys, just like the coal going through the fire or the coal in the fire, I am going through it. How is everybody doing? I hope you are all well. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before and if this is your first time, welcome. My name is Bella. Do not be deceived by what this sunlight does to the people. There's a pimple here. There's another one over here. I think there might be one down there. I'm really happy with what this mask is doing. It actually did say radiance, but I didn't trust it. Let me apply sunscreen. Like every time I put on sunscreen, eh, I'm always worried because initially it just feels like how is all of this going to go into my skin? But then it does. So today, um, in my last chit chat, get ready with me. Some of you commented on the fact that I wasn't really telling you guys what I was um, putting on, and that is essentially because I just. I guess me, I always, I always think that you could just come here for the chit chat part, but I actually forget that, you know, there are some people that are genuinely concerned about my makeup or like, like my makeup. So, um, let me start from this. It's a moisturizer and an SPF together, I guess you could say, even though I use it predominantly as an SPF. Sometimes I still put moisturizer over this depending on where I'm going to or how I'm feeling or the weather But this is the Murad Murad Environmental Shield Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30 So yeah It's pretty good. I like it initially when I started using it. I felt like I was breaking out but I can't really tell if that is what was happening or if you know it was just in conjunction with other things I was using but today we're going to be getting ready. But today I'm going to go out um, with a friend of mine for a brunch. It will be in the vlog. Um, for me, it's predominantly going to be pretty much like going out for drinks because what I need is drinks. Um, Zoe has finally resumed school, so a lot of other things are off my plate. But then that means that I'm fully back to wedding planning, fully back to barefoot. I'm just... I'm really tired, I can't lie. I'm I'm exhausted and it feels it feels like these days I'm exhausted all the time. And this wedding planning thing is just not a joke. And it's just not for the faint of hearts. Like it's not a joke, it's not for the faint hearted, it's just it's a lot and I have like less than forty days to go to the wedding, so like it's proper crunch time right now. So for primer this might be like a bit taboo because I have oily skin, but I'm using the Nubad Beauty Hydrating Primer. But I just really don't want this video to turn into me just complaining about stuff. <laughs> Even though I guess this chicha get ready with me was supposed to be me complaining, but it was more supposed to be me complaining about like, um, or commenting rather, because I don't know if it's really a complaint about like motherhood. My experience thus far, um, my biggest struggles and all that jazz. So I think that's what we're going to end up talking about today. So I have been a mother to a beautiful, smart, maybe too smart, strong-willed, maybe too strong-willed, two-year-old daughter. Her name is Zoe. Just in case this is your first time here, her name is Zoe, and yeah, she's. Loki Haiki, the light of my life, isn't she? <laughs> um, Zoe and I have had a very interesting relationship thus far. I love how I'm talking about it, like, you know, like she's a proper adult and everything. <laughs> but we have had, okay, I'm going to skip this powder step. I usually put powder in between um, my foundation, but because now I'm really worried about why is that I seem to be reacting every time I do my makeup I'll skip powder as well today so I'm going to be using this Too Faced Born This Way matte um, matte foundation and I am in the color or I use the color chai I don't know if it's my actual color but it's what I've been using I I used to feel like initially when I had her that that point in time was going to be like the most tasking time 
like when she was younger you don't really know what she wants because she can't talk and stuff it's like that talk. but i was wrong it's actually more tasking when they can't talk and they can make demands she's going through like right now that she's two years old she's going through like a weird phase where she's literally always asking for things like she sees something she wants it literally like ariana grande but except she doesn't get it all the time and this is the point in time that we're trying to like enforce some rules i mean she's two so like there only there can only be so many rules that we can actively enforce but yeah it has just been it feels like i'm already raising a teenager that's really what it is it feels like i'm already like dealing with like an adult because of all the things that she does like i just i don't know um for the most part of this journey yes i've been at home with family but like predominantly um she spends 80 percent of her time with me and that has been such a testing experience obviously now that we're leaving and i don't have the benefit of like having other people in the house to handle other things while i focus on her it means that we are now in the process i'm so sorry for my mom in the background um, we're now in the process of looking for somebody that can come in clean maybe help out with her and stuff like that i would usually put on more but i think i'm just going to keep it light and easy let my skin be breathing a bit maybe that's part of the problem as well um yeah recently since she turned two actually right before she turned two we started having um the instances of like the terrific twos it has been so long since i put on makeup by myself i actually forgot that i usually put on my concealer beforehand so that was that was a bit yeah because it's so much easier for me to blend in when it's underneath my foundation so for my concealer, I'm using the Kevin Aquan. I think this is an oldie but goodie for most people. Kevin Aquan that, um, Skin and Central Skin Enhancer, and this is an SX13. Um, I spoke about this in my last Get Ready with Me video. Did I? I might have actually edited that part out. But it's um, Beauty and Brushes. I always remember her anytime I use this thing because she's the one that put me on. She helped me like match match my color and everything dealing with toddler tantrums has been really difficult because in as much as she knows what she wants she can't really tell to a certain extent where she's why she's upset um it's a very natural part of their process at least thank god for that because it's, it's one of those things that you hear about when they're trying and they're struggling to like understand the world understand their limits and stuff like that i'm sure it can be so stressful on them um it is also quite stressful on us the parents so we are all going through it right now like there are times when like zoe will literally just be upset maybe you, she asks you for something and it's something that she can't have like maybe asking you for like a lollipop at like midnight well not midnight she's not awake at midnight but like at seven o'clock when it's like normally her bedtime and then you say no and she will literally like fall on the floor and hit her head on the floor like intentionally those are the type of things that we're currently dealing with it's a thin line between wanting to show a lot of concern because what you're doing is concerning but also not wanting to reward that kind of behavior by giving it more attention than you know it needs and we're constantly toggling on that line and honestly for the most part it wears my patience absolutely thin like my patience level these days especially is almost at a zero so i just think to myself i don't know if i can do this another time like i don't know if i can do this a second time not because i don't love children and not because i don't love zoe but like it just feels like such a tasking experience <laughs> To have to go through again especially if you're the type of person that immerses yourself like for me 
anything worth doing and i feel like that should be it for a lot of people especially when it comes to human interaction i in, i engross myself like i can't help myself but engross myself talk about someone is my child so like i'm just like do i have the energy to do this like another time for another child i've really been thinking about it especially because now that obviously we're about to round up the whole getting married bit of life like we've been talking a lot about like the future and children i'm not saying the future because i feel like we're always talking about the future like is that just an adult thing that people are just constantly talking about the future when would be a good time to have more they is perfectly fine with just zoe um i am the one that wants more like he he can really go either way i want more i i've always just wanted i've always loved the idea of a bigger family like i love the way dj and his siblings are with each other i like the way my children i say my children <gasps> my siblings and i are with each other as well so like in a perfect world i would i would have said that i want to have like two extras <laughs> i don't know say extras because they're not they're not extras but like two more <laughs> But like no, I just don't know. I just don't know. It's really something that has been I've been thinking about a lot. Um, if you're a mom, in my comments or um that is a subscriber and you're a mom, let me know how you decided on whether or not you are going to have more children because I'm sure it's asking for everybody. Like, I have a lot of fun being a mom because I'm a naturally youthful person like i like kid stuff like i like watching cartoons so we watch cartoons together i love like the painting and the running around going to the zoo taking her places and stuff like that but like there are obviously the also the very serious parts of it like sometimes when zoe is not feeling well it literally almost feels like the end of my world <laughs> which is i guess how i knew that i love her and stuff <laughs> But like it literally feels like it is the end of my world like my whole Everything that I need to do all the plans that I've made prior Everything is automatically cancelled when your child isn't feeling well. So for my contour I'm using Huda Beauty Tantor and this is in the shade medium That's what I use for my nose and for the sides of my face and then for blush I am using NARS um, Dolce Vita or Dolce Vita Vita. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's just a really nice cream or liquid blush that I feel always makes me look like really healthy. So that's what I'm using currently. I just do one pump. Needless to say, I'm very happy that she's back in school now and healthy. Mostly back in school, but I'm also happy that she's healthy. <laughs> ah. It's just, it's a whirlwind of emotions. I post a lot about my feelings on my Instagram. Um, you are fire me. And, but I also feel like a lot of people are just genuinely not expressive. And I understand that, like about motherhood, and I understand that because, like, yes, you want to, you express the fact that you're going through it or you're stressed out, but then what? Like, are you expressing it purely for people to just bet you? So I, I get why people don't really talk about it, but I feel like within these circles they should. And I'm also happy that I have like a really good support system of friends. Like my friends are always bigging me up with like how I raise Zoe because they see it firsthand. Because it takes a lot of work and a lot of intentionality to raise a wholesome child. And like right now, our biggest thing is like we haven't figured out how to do homework together that's the way and I because like you forget that they don't know these things that you're that you're trying to tell them they know but for you it's such an obvious thing so like there's a conflict of interest there because they're just like Zoe just write one and one but she doesn't know one and one is means 11 she just she understand <laughs> so that's like that's like a it feels like every couple of days or something there's something new what I will say is that it does feel rewarding it does 
I think I can be honest and say it does feel rewarding. It doesn't always feel rewarding. There are days when it doesn't feel rewarding at all. And there are some days when like, they can literally, children can literally do one thing and you will actually forget for the most part how annoying anybody was to you during the day. Something really sweet that Zoe does. If I seem like overwhelmed or I seem sad, sometimes she will come and like kiss me and tell me that she loves me. And I'll just be like, bruh. There is something so crazy about like a toddler or like a little child telling you they love you and they don't need anything from you. Like they're not asking you for anything or anything like that. They're just telling you they love you and holding on to you. Let me keep you, let me give you an update on what I've done so far. I've set my face. I used the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. I've been using that for many, many years. My best friend Obosa introduced me to it. And I always go to, I go to different powders, but I always end up back on this one. And then I use the RCMA to bake. Yes, I still bake. I've done my brows, sorry about the chewing. <laughs> And I use Beauty Line by Didi. Right here. Love this pencil. And then to set my brows, I use this brow gel. It's a brow set called Girl Boy. It's just like this. So if you make your brows really dark, it helps to like kind of naturalize them again and give them like a nice brown. So I'm going to use this orange um, eyeshadow god i don't know how long i've had this sugar pill eyeshadow because i know that's for a fact i don't think sugar pill still exists so that's how long i've had this i think this is like my oldest piece of makeup which means i should probably get rid of it very soon <laughs> i just like i like the combination of like having a pink base and then putting on orange so guys this is pretty much the finished look minus the lips but yeah um basically what i'm trying to say is like it has so many there are so many positive points of motherhood i can't take that away from it i've just been wondering lately wondering if like the one i have is that enough or should i but then what is so funny is that on the other side of things like I found myself a couple of months ago really craving like no craving but like baby fever was coming over me I don't know where it came from but like I was feeling it I was just like god <sighs> on the one hand you don't even know if like obviously we're all praying to god that if you want children that you can have them but there are just so many factors and then on the other side of it you're just like yeah okay do you, do you want them though do you want them it's just it's crazy um i'm still thinking about it like i would really like to hear from any moms in the house um if you feel the same way like or if from the moment you had your first child you're just like yeah i'm ready for the second one and you're still like that because initially when i had zoe it was only the labor that like the labor alone self made me think hmm, I can't do this I can have another one but like obviously with life experience <laughs> and stuff like that and like spending the past couple of years wiping ash <laughs> I just don't know like is it a selfish thing if you don't want any other children if it is purely because like the stress and strain attached Guys, I feel like I'm going to I'm going to end up still having more children because I love children so much. <laughs> like the stress is the stress, but like, bruh, I don't know. Motherhood comes with like so many anxieties for the future. Like you don't you have no control about what your child likes, what your child um, ends up doing, the mistakes that your child doesn't make because your child has to make mistakes, and that's the one thing. Like I feel like. I've spent so much time in motherhood preparing myself for the future. Like when Zoe is like my age or like even younger, like a teenager, that like I just underestimated these simpler times. I thought these simpler times 
would be simple. Or like these younger times would be simple. But they are not. They are not. Oh my god guys, I am feeling my makeup today. I just wish I had something to do to my hair. Not that my natural hair is not beautiful as it is. I just wish I had something to do to my hair. Just add that extra oomph oomph. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. It feels so nice. Like these chit chat gets ready with me is they kind of feel like a session for me to just vent exactly how I feel without like you know, feeling like I have to sugarcoat things. I know that obviously there will still be people that will naturally just be offended because it is just within their personality to be offended. Gosh, I love this eyeshadow look. I love eyeshadow looks that make my eyes look bigger. Like, I, I just love big eyes. Anyway, um, yeah, I know there will still be people that will be offended. That is only natural. But, like, I really appreciate you guys letting me speak and letting me have, like, some quiet time with you. And yeah, before I leave, do not forget that you are sugar, you are spice, and you are a bomb. I shall first love again. Mwah.